Hey guys, Russ with bishopswest.com here. Wanted to show you today a really quick and easy way to program hi-hats um, in Cakewalk Sonar using automation. So just to show you what I'm talking about, you can see over here I've already loaded in the SI drum kit. Um, this will work with Addictive Drums 2, Session Drummer, um, you know, any drum synth that you have, and even samplers. And down here in the piano roll, you can see that I've just dropped these whole notes on the F sharp three. That's the um, note that corresponds to the hi-hat. And so now if I play it, it's gonna be really boring, but. So there you go, every measure. So one thing I need to mention real fast is that instead of using the combined instrument track that you can do, I had to split these out into the audio track and the MIDI track, and here's why, because I wanted to have access to the arpeggiator section over here. What that does, you know, if you think of the arpeggiator, usually it's for maybe a piano or some synth part in the back just to kind of fill things out. It goes over a couple, three octaves, um, you know, whatever chord that you prefer. In this case, I don't need all that, I just need the one note. So I'm going to change where it says here two octaves. I'm going to change that to one octave. And this defaults to one sixteenth notes. I've already changed it to eighth notes. So now if I turn this on, this is what it's going to sound like. Okay, so there you go. Already a really fast and easy way to um, add some eighth notes to your track. But then I want to get a little bit uh, fancy, I guess, and add some programming and some variety to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the automation lanes here. So I click to open that up. Yours will probably not be expanded quite this much. You can just drag it down to give yourself as much w space to work as you need. And it, it um, defaults to the volume. So what I'm going to do is click on the drop down, go down to where it says arpeggiator, and I'm going to change the rate. Okay, so the rate is what corresponds to these eighth notes over here. And by messing around with that, we can get it a little bit different, a lot more variety. So now let's see. Okay, you can see that it defaulted up here to 79%, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to take this down to, I think, 50%. If I remember right, that probably corresponds to... Um, 16th notes, let's try it. Yep, okay. And even that for what we're doing is a little bit fast. So let's try, let's try 40% here. See what that gives us. Yeah, so there's my eighth notes at 40%. So now this is where I can start playing around and just kind of have some fun with it. So right here, I'm gonna put just click to add a node there, and then I'm going to click here, add another node, and then drag that up to there, let's say. So now if I play it, okay, so you can hear how it increases the rate all the way up to here. Now that's good. The other thing I can do, though, is if I right click on that line, I can choose the curve. So let's choose a slow curve, see what that does for us. It's already starting to sound a little bit more fun. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a little section here. So I'm just going to drag for about one beat there. So that just that one beat is selected. And then when I move the cursor up here to the top of this automation lane, you can see that it changes. And what that allows me to do is once it changes to that pointer, I can drag up or down and it'll just change that section of the automation. So let's drag it up just a little bit like that. You can hear it already changed it. And then maybe over here, um, let's do two notes. I'm going to do the same thing, just select two beats, and then I'm going to drag this down a little bit. See what that sounds like.
over here just for this whole bar. Let's go crazy. That's not going to sound good, but we'll try it. Yeah, nobody's going to like that. We could do something a little bit like that. And then over here, you know, just take it down a little bit again. Okay, so there you go. Just a really fast, easy way to add some interest and some variety to your hi-hats. And then what you would do is add a separate MIDI track for everything else on the drum kit, um, kick, snare, what have you, because you only want the arpeggiator affecting the hi-hats. You don't want it affecting everything else on the drum kit. So hope that helps. Hope you can have some fun with that. Um, look forward to seeing your comments. And, you know, I'd I, th I think it'd be great if you could drop a link to whatever you do with this into the comments so that I could hear what you've done with it. Thanks. Have a great day.